Welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric. I'm the founder of the Podcast Haven, and I'm here today to do a little walkthrough of the Shure Plus Motive app. If you have a Shure compatible microphone, you can actually use this app to adjust the settings of your microphone, adjust your leveling. There's some various tools like EQ and compression and various modes that you can use within this app to get the best sound or really dial in the sound that you want. I'm reviewing the desktop version of this. There is a version for iOS and I believe for Android as well, but this is going to be covering the desktop version. And for this tutorial, this walkthrough, I am using the Shure MV7 and I have this plugged in via USB. Quick note, if you have it plugged in via XLR and you're going into an audio interface, you won't be able to use this app. This app is only for when the mic is plugged in via USB. And another quick note before we get started, I don't know why, but it only worked when I used the supplied uh, USB cable that Sure gave me. Just moments ago, I tried setting this up with a generic USB cable and the mic wouldn't register. And so keep that in mind. You may have to use the Sure supplied cable. And I've been reading various reviews online that that is true. So that's sneaky of Sure, but uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the Sure Plus Motive app, the first thing that's gonna happen when you open the app is this little drop down menu here. Uh, you're gonna select the microphone that you have plugged in. Chances are it's just gonna pop up as you see. Let's just go in order. I'm on the manual tab right now. You can save presets. So if you like your mic gain at a certain level or you like to have one of these EQ, limiter, or compression, compressions, compressor settings, um, you can actually save that. I don't do that, but that is a good option if you want a quick setup for like recording a podcast or going live or filming some kind of content, that could be uh, a great way to save time. Next is the mic mute. So here I am talking. This is the mic off right now. It's back on. So that's kind of cool because I am a loud breather. And so oftentimes when I'm doing podcast interviews, on my track, you'll just hear in the background when the guest is talking. And that's annoying. So the mute button is dope. This MV7 also has a mute button on the actual microphone uh, body itself. So you could do that as well. That might be a pain in the ass to touch it every time. It probably will induce some noise if you do that on the microphone. But if you want to do that on this app, easy and great. Okay, next is the microphone gain. So I'm just going to talk a little bit and I'm going to crank this up as needed. Oh, there it is. So you can see that's full blast. I never recommend you do anything at 100% when it comes to like gain. So I'm going to dial this back down. I'm going to put it like right about here. I think that's a better level in post. You can always adjust things, but it is cool to know that you can adjust the mic gain on the fly with this slider. It's not that smooth whether you're going up or down in gain. Um, so keep that in mind. It'll be audible. It's not like some audio equipment where you can just crank or reduce and it's a very smooth adjustment. Again, you can also do this on the microphone itself on the right hand side of the body. There's a button. Press it once for level and twice for headphones and you can adjust the level of your mic and the level of your headphones. Keep that in mind. That's the Shure MV7. That's the mic I'm using. Okay, so now let's get on to monitor mix. I have this right in the middle. I don't have anything playing back from the computer. You can see here playback. So let's say you are streaming, or maybe you're on a Zoom and you want to like bring in sound from your computer or some kind of video conferencing where you need to bring in sound. You can actually adjust that level with this playback switch. If you're just on mic, it's not going to matter regardless. But if you're bringing in sound, that is a cool feature. Uh, could be cool for streaming, tutorials, explaining stuff, showing someone a mix, showing someone music, whatever it may be. Okay, moving on to EQ. So this is flat. I like to keep it flat. I'm actually going to boost this because I want to show you some of the EQ. And I think if the mic gain is louder, you'll be able to hear it better. So the EQ is flat right now. That's typically what I do. Here's a uh, setting to roll the bass off. So I just turned that on. And if you listen carefully, if you have headphones on, you can see it took a lot of the low end out of my voice. Doesn't say what at what frequency it's cutting. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the presence boost. This gives a little bit of crunch or push and like the highs or like high mids maybe. And this is another one. Okay, so this is like the really high end boost, kind of that shine on top. And then this is maybe more of like 
the, the mids and kind of getting into that high range. Next, we go into the limiter. So a limiter um, stops you from peaking. So you can set your limiter to a certain level. It doesn't say where that is in here, but it, essentially it stops your your the level of you talking or whatever you're recording from going above that. Chances are you wouldn't need to put this on unless you're talking really loud and you don't want to clip and then the limiter might stop that at, at the top of uh, that peak or the top of that waveform without clipping. So that's the limiter. Okay, and this is the fun part for me is the compressor. So there's a light setting. You can kind of hear it if you have headphones, medium, if you want to get kind of crunchy. And if you want really that like announcer voice, maybe for broadcast or like radio where they really have the voice slammed, um, you can definitely tell the difference on heavy. I kind of like that. It kind of makes me sound like some kind of announcer. And I think that's rad. Okay, and then next is the LED behavior. These are the lights on the microphone body. So I mentioned briefly, and I'm not gonna get too much into the actual mic itself because I just wanted to cover this app, but the Shure MV7 has a touch panel and you can slide the gain up and down with your finger. And you can also, if you have the headphones plugged into the mic, you can slide the slider with your finger and you can um, adjust your level. Now, if you have headphones plugged into your laptop, that's not gonna work. Now let's get into the fun. This is auto level. And so if you are more of a beginner or maybe you're not a savvy audio person, you just wanna plug in and play, you can select auto level here and automatically it's going to uh, increase and decrease the level of your voice or whatever you're recording. It's, a, it's automatic, so you don't have to worry about like the mic gain and stuff I was showing you earlier. Uh, there's also a mute button. I just muted myself. That's why it sounded like it cut out the monitor mix. We went into that. And so the next coolest thing is for great for podcasters, great for um, people doing YouTube videos where they're using like one of the sure compatible mics is the near mode. So I almost always keep my mic on near mode, a couple inches from my mouth. But if you don't have like a boom arm or your desk is just set in a weird way and you can't get it that close, you could put this on far mode and pull the mic back a couple feet. And let's say that's where you have it placed because of your setup. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna click it to far and push my microphone back. Okay, so it's on far mode right now. I'm adjusting my boom arm and I just probably pulled it back almost a foot, maybe nine inches. And it, you are getting a little more room tone. I can hear it in my headphones, but it almost does sound like the mic is close, like where it was before. So there's got to be some kind of technology in there. I don't know if it just boosts the gain or there's some kind of tech involved where you can pull the mic away and you get a similar sound as if it was up close. Now, it's not exactly the same, and but I have a trained ear and I can hear my room. I can actually hear the, the AC now, whereas when it's close, you're getting less of that room and more of just uh, your voice. But again, depending on your setup and if you you know don't have like all the gear to get it where you want, you're positioned weird, the far mode could be very, uh, could be good. And so keep that in mind. You could hear my boom arm now because I'm adjusting it. I'm currently on far. Okay, and now I'm back to near mode. Um, here's the tone. So this affects the tone of your voice. I keep it on natural. You could keep it on dark. If you hear that, it just sounds like it kind of like boosted the low mids or the lows and that's interesting. So bright mode, it kind of cuts some of the lows and you're getting more of that high end. I prefer just to keep it on natural and do any EQ later. Um, the LED behavior at the bottom. So I like live meters. So I can turn that on and if I look at my mic, I can see the green lights depending on how loud I am. Now they're dropping. But if I talk really loud, they crank up. I just went into the orange. Did I don't know if I can clip it. Can I clip this mic? Hey, hey, check, two, three. Okay, oh, it's on auto level. Maybe that's why it's not clipping. But you could see the meters going up. Green, good, like yellow or orange, kind of getting too loud. And if it hits red, you're definitely peaking. And then night mode dims the lights on the actual mic itself, on the, the, the slider. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I guess if you don't want it super bright at night. But let's go back to manual here. Hey, hey, I'm trying to clip it. I'm trying to see if those LED lights light up uh, into the red and they don't. So I guess I'm at a good level right here. And that's it, guys. This is the Sure Plus Motive app. Again, there is a iOS and Android app and you can actually record with that one. Um, this is just 
to adjust some of the settings of your microphone to then record on another software application. But thanks for listening. Uh, Again, I'm Eric with the Podcast Haven. If you're feeling the channel, please subscribe. Got a lot of good podcast episodes coming out and also going to be doing more tutorials. I'm talking Sure, Focusrite, Apogee, all types of audio gear, but it's all going to be centered around podcasting because that's what we do here at the Podcast Haven. And hey, if you're looking for help with your podcast, uh, leave us a message and be sure to smash that subscribe button. We'd love to get in touch and we'd love to connect and keep creating the type of content that you are looking for. So keep listening, keep engaging and keep creating. I'm out.